Morning everyone, hope everyone's had a really great week so far. So the boat building news roundup, uh, Paris-based Finex says it will launch its first product, the Fin5, later this year. The outboard engine comprises of an undulating membrane that replaces a propeller and is 100% electric. So the product is in its final stages of development and will be a world's first for the marine industry. The two kilowatt outboard engine is designed for small boats and sailboats up to about three tonnes and it will be powered by a hydrogen fuel cell. So the system works in the same way as a loudspeaker. So there's a coil and a magnet with an alternative current running through the coil to make the magnet oscillate and vibrate. And this design was actually inspired by fish and how they swim. So Finex uses a wave pattern to propel a watercraft using an elastoma membrane. In order to mitigate the effects of pitching and maximise the power density of its engines, the Finex fin is operated at low amplitude and high frequency. So this technology is totally safe, says Finex, with no risk of injury and the membrane won't get tangled in any ropes. So they're currently in the final stages of their second round of fundraising and this money will allow Finex to move on to industrialisation and commercialisation of the product. Uh, Finex is also beginning the development of the Fin 150 for the Olympics in Paris in 2024. Um, and Manor Marine has committed to the build of a 20 metre multi-cap vessel suitable for a range of applications. So construction will be undertaken at the company's fabrication and engineering facility in Portland in Dorset. So focused on the offshore uh, renewables industry, the vessel is designed for multi-purpose uses. It will be suitable for dive support, subsea cable support, towage, uh, voyage maintenance, marine civil engineering and dredge support. So construction is due to start in June 2022, utilising a keel that was laid back in 2020. So at 20 metres in length, the vessel will have an approximate maximum speed of 10 knots achieved with two Volvo Penta D13 MH marine propulsion engines. The vessel will be suitable uh, for operation in coastal waters up to about 20 miles from the shore and the craft will be built in accordance with Lloyd's Register regulations and to MCA Workboat Code, code Cat 2. Uh, the multi-cat is scheduled to be completed in early 2023 and will be held um, as stock upon delivery. Um, and the Italian Sea Group has signed a partnership with TWW Yachts, a full-service yacht brokerage company based in Monaco, London and Istanbul. So under the exclusive agreement, TWW Yachts will represent the Admiral and Technomar brands in Turkey, Egypt and Azerbaijan. So through this new partnership, the Italian Sea Group plans to consolidate and strengthen its positioning in Middle Eastern countries. Hope everyone's got a really great weekend planned and I'll catch up with you next week.